Well, this is the fried man, Mark Carter himself, coming at you with the Mac Attack. And tonight, I am reviewing and giving my reactions to the 29th anniversary of Survivor Series. And uh, I actually watched the pre-show for once, uh, just to see if they were going to have any kind of... Uh, match it all for it and uh actually they had a uh, halfway decent traditional uh five five man tag team uh, elimination match survivor series matchup and uh on one team you had stardust the ascension bo dallas and the miz versus neville the dudley boys titus o'neill and making a surprise return was Gold Dust. And uh, let's see, the first person that got eliminated was Connor of the Ascension by Gold Dust. And then, inexplicably, they took a damn commercial break. And Victor, I guess, was eliminated during the commercial break because they didn't show it. <laughs> during a traditional Survivor Series match. Now, I know it was just a pre-show, but if somebody gets eliminated, you know, you don't want that to happen during a damn commercial. That was just out-and-out out ridiculous. Then Neville was eliminated. He was the third man eliminated by The Miz, which turned around and got eliminated by Gold Dust. Then they took another commercial break. Titus O'Neil, he was pumped, and he got a pretty big crowd reaction. Uh, Bo Dallas was the fifth man eliminated by Titus O'Neil. Stardust was the last member of his team to get eliminated by Devon Dudley, leaving Titus O'Neil, Goldust, and the Dudley Boys, the sole survivors of the pre-show match. Now we're going to work our way up to the main card. And uh, Survivor Series starts off with uh, the semifinals uh, tournament matches. The first match being Roman Reigns versus Alberto Del Rio. And uh, I got to say, Alberto Del Rio, he looked pretty ripped. And for the majority of the match, had his way with Roman. Uh, and and what, what kind of killed me was we got, uh, let's go Roman, Roman sucks. I guess they really do want Roman Reigns to become the next John Cena. Ugh. Uh, Roman uh, Reigns predictedly, you know, won the match as expected, but Alberto Del Rio really did look a lot better. And in the second match, we had Dean Ambrose in a semifinal match against Kevin Owens. And during this match, I personally suffered uh, buffering issues. But if the WWE Network expects me to pay for their service, they're going to have to get this shit straightened out. I mean, come on. Uh, but I did see the end of the match, and uh, and it was Dean Ambrose. Uh, so uh, the third match was a traditional Survivor Series five-man tag team elimination match. And on one team, you had Ryback, the Lucha Dragons, and the Usos versus the New Day, Sheamus, and King Barrett. Xavier Woods, he had me cracking up the entire match. Comes out sporting his James Brown hairdo. And uh, then Sheamus tries to get in on the act the popularity of uh, The New Day. And he was like, yeah, we're going to get jiggy with it. And he just kind of looked stupid. But it was funny. Uh, 
some of the high notes of this. Uh, Ryback, of all people, went airborne from the top rope and took out, I don't know, eight people. <laughs> that was pretty cool. Uh, and then during a spot where the New Day do their stomp and stomp and stomp, they take turns stomping on their opponent in the corner. And while Xavier Woods is playing on his trombone, <laughs> you know how how uh, Big E gyrates and everybody goes crazy. Well, Barrett, King Barrett, started gyrating too. <laughs> that was pretty funny. But Barrett was the first one eliminated by one of the Lucha members. I don't know. I can't tell them apart. The second person eliminated was Jimmy Uso by Xavier, Wer uh, uh, Xavier Woods. Excuse me. The third elimination was uh, one of the Lucha Dragons by Sheamus. I think it was, uh, oh, I can't even think of his name. Uh, anyway, Sin Cara was eliminated by Sheamus. Big E gets eliminated fourth by uh, Jey Uso. And as he's eliminated, he acts so hurt that his tag team partners, Xavier Woods and Kofi Kingston, help him to the back. And they never return, leaving Sheamus all alone against Ryback, Kalisto, and Jey Uso, who uh, would go on to win after Ryback pins Sheamus. And your sole survivors are Ryback, Kalisto, and Jey Uso. It was an awesome match up until uh, the New Day left. <laughs> All right, let's see here. Fourth on the card, uh, we had the Divas title match. And it was pretty awesome. Definitely not a piss break match. Uh, Paige and Charlotte. They went, they, they, they gave it their all. They really put on a show. I was personally pulling for Paige, but Charlotte gets the victory and remains your Divas champion. The fifth match was the piss break. You had Tyler Breeze defeating Dolph Ziggler in a match that no one gave a shit about. <laughs> match number six was the Wyatt family versus the Brothers of Destruction uh, versus the uh, Brothers of Destruction, The Undertaker, and Kane. And uh, seeing how they were, you know, celebrating 25 years of The Undertaker was pretty obvious that The Undertaker was going to win. And he did after delivering a tombstone pile driver to uh, Luke Harper. And uh, I'm glad The Undertaker and Kane won and all. And I'm, I'm a diehard Taker fan. But it leads me to wonder, how will anyone take the four members of the Wyatt family seriously if they can't take out two 50-year-old men? I mean, come on now. Uh, I just, I hate it. I hate it for Bray Wyatt and uh, Luke Harper and Strowman. Oh, well. And now we get to the final match of the evening. And uh, so it is to, to, to determine who becomes the next uh, WWE heavyweight champion. And it pits Roman Reigns and his shield brother, Dean Ambrose, uh, against each other. I got to tell you, that match, we all knew that Roman Reigns was going to win. But everybody was talking about a heel turn. And neither Roman Reigns nor Dean Ambrose turned heel. And I was pretty disappointed by that. And the match... It seemed like it was over before it even began. It was, it was just a shit match. It really was. 
no hill turn, no real storytelling. It just was over before it began, really. And uh, then they have this big celebration and confetti, and he's celebrating, and in comes Triple H to shake Roman Reigns' hand. And as Triple H extends his hand, Roman Reigns speared Triple H. Out comes Sheamus to cash in his money in a briefcase contract. And Sheamus defeats Roman Reigns. So at the end of the night, Sheamus, the Celtic warrior, is your new WWE champion. I don't know how I feel about that just right now. I I'm guess I'm glad that it wasn't Roman Reigns, but this Survivor Series, it left me feeling empty. And there were a few good matches. There was one excellent match, and, and the, probably the best match of the night was, uh, I'd say, the match between Dean Ambrose versus Kevin Owens. And, uh, but, but, uh, I don't know. And then, and then the traditional Survivor Series match with the New Day. But once they left, no one really cared anymore. But, uh, that's my take on Survivor Series 2015. And until next time, this is the fried man, Mark Carter himself, saying, I'll see you. On the flip side.